Hey, what's up YouTube? So this is going to be a little talk about male um, hormones, kind of the male hormonal axis. And preferably if you're watching this, it's um, because you, I mean, you understand the material, but, and you've looked it over, but you're having a hard time remembering and keeping all those facts uh, straight. So I'm going to have a couple mnemonics to see if we can um, hang on to that knowledge a little more efficiently. So first thing, um, let's start out with Leydig cells. So Leydig cells produce testosterone. And you can remember they produce testosterone because digging is a very testosterone surrounded male event. Um, not to say the ladies can't dig, but um, just look at these guys. They seem to really be getting into digging here. Um, so that's a, a quick and easy recall that Leydig cells produce testosterone. Another thing to remember is that testosterone is pro-Wolfian duct. Um, so hopefully you've heard of the Wolfian duct system. If not, maybe Wikipedia that real quick. But um, what what that means is it's um, it promotes the formation of the male ductal um, system for the male genitalia. And if you're having a hard time remembering difference between Wolfian and Wallerian ducts, um, just remember what testosterone does to people. It, it uh, makes them into, well, wolfmen. Gives you this nice, um, develops your uh, m muscular tone, your, your, your animal drives, um, especially sexual drives, and you have um, a lot of hair. Um, the hair follicles are stimulated by testosterone. Um, so basically testosterone turns you into a wolf. Wolf in the fact that it, it promotes the wolfian duct system and it um, promotes other male characteristics. Um, on the other hand, we have Sertoli cells, which are also um, a testicular cell, and those produce anti-Mullerian hormone. And I have this little mnemonic that will work for you if you've ever had the Muller um, German yogurt. Um, you can just remember that men don't, they might think that Muller, so here's a little advertisement for Muller, um, men might think this Muller is kind of woman's stuff, and so they're certainly against molar. Um, that is to say, Sertoli cells are anti-molarian. So men are, they are certainly anti-molarian. So if, if you don't know this yogurt analogy, just go with that little mnemonic. Um, Sertoli cells make men certainly anti-molarian, right? Okay, so on to the next one. So Leydig cells, um, are stimulated by LH. So the L in each of these can remind you that LH um, stimulates Leydig cells. So remember that the um, pituitary has two primary, um, in fact, it has two gonadal hormones. One of them is LH, the other is FSH. And if, if you're trying to remember what they do in the male, it's a little easier in the female because they are um, named more accurately in the female. Um, but luteinizing hormone in the male stimulates the Leydig cell. And if you remember what Leydig cells were, remember, Leydig cells make men do uh, manly activities such as digging. Um, the reason being um, because Leydig cells produce testosterone. So here we have uh, just a chain of, of events. We have luteinizing hormone hitting the Leydig cells, Leydig cells producing testosterone. All right, so I think we should be able to remember that. Now the prostate, which I'm going to say is the perhaps the manliest organ, converts testosterone into 5-hydrotestosterone, which is actually the manliest androgen. So all in all, just remember in the prostate you have a lot of manly things happening. First, it is, um, it is obviously not in the female, so you know that it's, it's obviously men are going to think it's manly. And then you have the strongest, most potent form of testosterone be converted, um, that is 5-HT. And the reason why you get this 5-HT in the prostate and um, not in other places is because the prostate has 5-alpha reductase. So um, down here, um, I have one last mnemonic for this sheet. Um, remember, maybe you've heard of this drug, fin uh, finasteride, and what it does
does is it blocks the conversion by blocking, um, it blocks the conversion of um, testosterone to 5-HT by blocking the conversion um, at the 5-alpha reductase step, and that is specific to the prostate. So if you want to remember um, finis finisteride, just remember this old um, finster spinster is what I'm going to call it, um, telling a manly man to put it where the sun don't shine, or in other words, put it in the prostate, so that's going to remind you of the prostate where the sun don't shine, and remind you of the action of finisteride. Um, yeah. So next we have um, the FSH, so let's briefly talk about that. So FSH um, stimulates Sertoli cells. So it's it's uh, easy to remember that luteinizing hormone stimulates Leydig cells, therefore by difference we know that um, FSH stimulates Sertoli cells. Um, but why we have this word FSH, so what follicle is stimulated? Because remember it's follicle stimulating hormone. What follicle is stimulated? Well, no follicle, but even pathologists are, um, or physiologists are gentlemen, and the, la the lady's named, um, the lady's action was named first. Um, so, but we do have an analogous action in the testicle um, to the um, follicle stimulation that happens in the ovary, and that is Sertoli cells maintain spermatogenesis. So it, it is obviously the, the male equivalent of oogenesis and follicle, um, follicle development um, as directed by FSH in the ovary. So I guess it is logical that FSH in the male would um, determine and uh, maintain spermatogenesis. So remember, the S of Sertoli cells and spermatogenesis um, with an S. Um, but remember, we also had Sertoli cells making men certainly anti-Mullerian. So Sertoli cells are also inhibitory for the Mullerian system. So um, yeah. Um, Essentially, let's just say that they are professional inhibitors because um, not only do they have this malarian hormone, anti-malarian ho hormone, but they also um, produce a hormone called inhibin, which has a negative feedback um, to FSH release at the uh, pituitary. So Sertoli cells um, are all around professional inhibitors because they have um, both of their hormone products are inhibitory, but also Remember, Sertoli cells have this spermatogenesis effect, this um, spermatogenesis function. Um, it's also important to note that testosterone um, acts as a paracrine in um, the testicle to reinforce uh, FSH, um, Sertoli spermatogenesis. So that's to say that testosterone teams up with the Sertoli cells um, to ensure that the sperm are correctly developed. Um, so in this sense, it's because you remember um, Leydig cells, the manly Leydig cells producing testosterone, um, so, uh, they also, in this sense, um, maintain um, spermatogenesis with the Sertoli cells. So it's not just the Sertoli ce um, cells job, 100% um, really. All right, um, so on to the last uh, little page I got for you guys here. So it's perfectly logical to think that a hormonal product of the um, testes, testosterone, would have a negative feedback on the pituitary hypothalamic axis, and this is exactly what happens. Um, so you, just like the other hormonal axes, there's some, some hormone at the bottom that um, winds back up and causes inhibition. So it's not just the Sertoli inhibition, it is also the testosterone inhibition in this um, male um, hormonal axis. So as I said before, where else have we seen this inhibition? The Sertoli cells and their products um, cause um, inhibition. So maybe we should just call them Sertoli cells, ha ha ha. So if that helps you remember a little better, um, that's a good thing. So Sertoli cells, Sertoli cells, they have anti-malarian um, hormone, they have inhibin, and the S also reminds you of spermatogenesis. And the last little item here is puberty. So how does puberty work? Basically, um, 
around that age, you get the pulsatile gonadotrophin releasing hormone, and that causes a hormonal wave down the line. And what is really interesting about this um, gonadotrophin releasing hormone is that it causes a, so to speak, closer listening of its own message, um, which means in real terms, the gonadotrophin re releasing hormone um, upregulates the, the gonadotropin releasing hormone receptor in the um, pituitary and so um, we can say that it listens closer to its own message and in that sense can maintain these um, male and of course female hormones um, uh, through the um, sexual life of the um, animal. So I have just one last piece here if um, if you guys want to participate in this, there's a listen closer. Um, there's one other hormone um, that is especially known for listening closer. And there's one other hormone that is also uh, known to listen less. Um, try and guess what that hormone is. Um, so listening closer is um, ACTH. Um, this um, this causes um, the the cortex to upregulate its own receptor in the same way that gonadotrophin releasing hormone does so at puberty. Um, so I'm not sure if this is exactly why people get, maybe um, who seem to be high on the cortisol, um, it seems to be sort of like a self um, propagating cycle. So people are stressed out. So if you're having a hard time remembering that this happens, just remember that stressed out people tend to um, continue continuing to uh, make themselves more stressed out by being stressed out in itself. Um, I don't know, obviously, if that's the actual basis of um, being um, persistently stressed out or chronically um, high with cortisol, but um, it's a good way to remember it. Um, and then the one hormone that causes listening less, that's to say that it's listening uh, the hormone receptor is um, downregulated by the hormone is insulin. So insulin listens less, and uh, adrenocorticotrophin hormone um, uh, listens more. Um, so with the insulin, we can just we can say that um, just to remember this that the person gets um, they get sugared up. So people, obviously this is easier to remember because um, the whole concept of insulin resistance. So people, you know, they get sugared up, they stay sugared up and eventually they need more and more sugar and they are addicted to sugar and all that um, fun stuff. Anyway, I think, yeah, this is it I got for you guys. Thanks for watching. Please give a like if you liked it and have a good time studying. Cheers.